Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep track of payment. Daycare payment, tuition payment, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna show you guys how I personally keep track of it. Side note, there are a million ways that you can keep track of payment. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I am not, I mean, I'm a techie person. Like I know how to do tech. But when it comes to like certain things, I'm such a paper pen person. So a lot of the tools that I use is like, papers, printing them, keying things in, like receipt books, things like that. So if you guys are into like a online system where you can just plug in numbers and send invoices, I'm not doing that. I don't do that. I don't have the time to sit there and send invoices. I don't know if it, I don't I don't know how any of that stuff works. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. Another thing I wanted to quickly mention before we continue, my daycare payment policy is the Friday before the week of care is when payment is due. So every Friday the parents will pay me and that covers the following week. So it's not like I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then that Friday they pay me for what I worked. I get everything in advance. Reason being, you get it on Friday, you have Saturday and Sunday to take care of your supplies, your groceries, do what you gotta do as a daycare provider. And in your personal life too, if you have bills, you know what I'm saying? You have, you know, everything in advance. So again, I am a paper pen person. I'm gonna show you guys the tools that I use to keep track of daycare payments. So the first thing is my phone. I think this is obvious, my phone. Not for invoices, but to receive payments. So all of my parents pay Apple Pay. All of them have iPhones, and if they didn't have Apple Pay, I would do Cash App. So far, it's been so far so good, but I do need my phone whenever it comes to taking payments. So that's the first tool that I use. Second tool that I use is a receipt book. So this one I got off of Amazon. You can use whatever receipt book you want. I used to purchase mine from Sam's Club, but then Sam's stopped selling it. So I went elsewhere, found this one off of Amazon. This is not that big of a receipt. It's like the size of my hand, but they do have another book, same brand, same everything, but it's like a bigger receipt. So if you guys are into like bigger books, it's good for you, but this one does the job and I'm fine with it. So I'll have a link down below. I think it comes in instead of two or three. I might be mistaken, but it covers the entire year. Like you get so many receipts, so it's worth it. So this receipt book has receipt numbers for every single receipt. So for example, this receipt is 279981. 279982, 279983, so on and so forth. So every receipt has a number. So I'll show you guys quickly how I fill in a receipt. The top says date, so I would put the date that I received the payment. Not the day that I'm recording the payment, I put the day that I received the payment. So if they pay me January 1st and I didn't make a receipt until the 8th, I'm gonna put the first because that is when I received that payment. Then it says from, and that's where I put the parent's name. So for example, we're gonna say Jackie is the parent. I would put from Jackie, and then I would enter the dollar amount um, with numbers in that little box right there with the dollar symbol. And then under it, I would write out the word, like if you're writing out a check. So I would write 100. So we're gonna say her tuition's $100. And then this one says for rent. If I got to create something, I would create a receipt book for us childcare providers that didn't say rent. It would say for tuition or for daycare payment or fee, whatever, but this one says for rent, so I usually just cross it out, and then under it, I'll fill in the bubble, and then it says for, and then I'll put the student's name. So the parent's name is from Jackie, and then over here would be for Rebecca's tuition. So we'll just say Rebecca's the name. Then over here, it says account. I don't do anything with that. I literally just cross right through it, and then I'll put paid the amount. So she paid $100, what was due was $100. Sometimes if what was due was $100 and she only gave me 80, I'll put due 100, paid 80, and then I'll just cross out the word account and then I'll put like $20 and I'll write the word balance so that she knows that she has a balance with me. If that makes any sense, like a negative balance. Then over here, cash, check, money, order, credit card. I don't use any of those. Again, they pay Apple Pay. So I'll just go ahead and I'll cross all of that out. I'll put an arrow and then I'll write the word Apple Pay over here. And then from blank to blank, I'll do the Monday, Friday date. So let's just say Monday is the 1st of January. And then Friday is the 5th of January. I'll put from... 1-1, one, one, the 1st, January 1st, 2, 1-5, slash five, the 5th. So I do the Monday-Friday dates because that's my week of care and that's how I take care of my payments and how I keep track of them, the Monday-Friday date, and then buy, and then I'll just put my signature right there. That's it. Then I take this receipt number and I go to my next tool. So my next tool is a sign-in sheet. So this is my sign-in sheet right here. I do have this available on my TPT store if you guys are interested. I'll have a link down below for you guys. So these little lines right here on the right-hand side, that is where I put the receipt number. So I'll go ahead and I'll take the receipt number, which was 279981, and I'll put it on the week that it's covered so that they know that they paid. I know that they paid, they have a receipt, and then I have it confirmed here. And I do that for every single week. And then I go to my next tool, which is my tuition chart. 
So if you guys are familiar with my tuition chart, I do have a full video on the tuition chart, how it works, etc. I make my own and I do sell them. I think I sell them for $2. And you'll just send me an email and I'll email it to you. I can't put this on my TPT store because there is a formula that is involved with it. And I don't think TPT is gonna read that and I don't know if it would work for you if I did sell it through TPT. So I typically make them, I'll let you guys know when it's available on social media. Then you guys can just reach out to me and I'll send it to you guys through email. So I'm gonna quickly talk to you guys about my tuition chart. Um, if you guys already watched that video, you guys don't have to watch this part, but for the people that didn't watch it, I'm gonna talk to you guys about it in this video. So I like to be very detailed when it comes to money when it comes to payment, when it comes to how much they paid, when they paid, why they paid, why they didn't pay. I am like a nut. I went through so much hassle in the beginning of when I started doing daycare that I was like, you know what, I can't do this. These people are telling me that they paid me when they didn't pay me. They're saying that they overpaid. They're saying that they underpaid. They're saying that something rolled over. Like it was just too much. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a breakdown of everything like itemized. So I have four columns. The first one is week of. So I put Monday, Friday dates again. This one is for 2023. So if you look at the first line, it says January 2nd, 2023 to January 6th, 2023. So that is a Monday and a Friday. The second is a Monday, the first, the sixth is a Friday. So I do that for every single week, the next week, the 9th to the 13th, the 16th to the 20th, the 23rd to the 27th. I do it for the entire year. Whether I'm closed or not, I do it for every single week. The second column is the amount paid. So you would put their tuition there. So for example, Rebecca's tuition was $100. So you would put $100, $100. Now, you put the receipt number right there. So that same receipt number, 279981, that you put in the sign-in sheet, like on the side, you're gonna enter it there. So that if you ever see this blank, or if you ever see a receipt there, and you're like, wait, what? what is this from? You look here and you'll see it there. So it's kind of like triple checking your steps. You make your receipt. Boom, you write it on the sign of sheet, boom, and then you put on your tuition chart, confirmed, and it's locked in. So I put my receipt number in that third column, and then I have a note section. So if the amount paid is ever anything different than what their tuition is, I explain to them why. So for example, Rebecca's tuition is $100. If there's a week that says $120, I'm going to explain to her why. If it says $80, I'm going to explain to her why. Um. If a parent pays me $80 on a Monday, and then on Wednesday they pay me the other 20 in this situation for $100, I don't make two separate receipts. I usually wait, make one, and I'm not gonna sit there and say, you paid me $80 on Monday, and you paid, no. It's more so like um, if they overpaid because of certain fees, you know what I'm saying? So if she came early one day, or she came after my closing hours and I charged her, like I'm gonna explain that in here. Anytime, again, the amount paid is anything different than the tuition, I always like to explain why. Now with the tuition chart, what I like about it is everything that you enter and the amount paid, it automatically adds up for you and it's gonna be available to you in the bottom column. So this column is left blank in the week of, but over here I put a formula that is gonna add everything above that line so at the end of the year um it'll include everything if i ever put a zero it's not going to obviously add anything if there's a five if there's a 20 if whatever it is it's all going to automatically add up and it's going to be available to you guys at the bottom so when it comes tax time once i'm done filling this out with the amount paid the receipt number i give it to them because it's automatically added up and i don't got to sit there and calculate every single thing if that makes any sense so again my tuition chart is available if you email me directly i can go ahead and send that to you guys but i don't ever think i don't know when i'm going to have this available on my tpt store if it's ever going to be possible but if you guys want this one it's already available black and white and gray super easy to print super easy to use and i love it that basically completes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and i'll see you guys in my next video